Chandler Poppleton will forever be the 16 year old class clown to his mother, Tina. Always, he's not paying attention. He's, I have to move him here, move him there. It's not gonna work. <laughs> no matter where he goes, he's gonna talk to somebody. <laughs> June 21st, 2017, the last time she kissed her son goodbye. They worked together and he'd gotten off early and was picked up from work by friends. When Tina left hours later, she saw the flashing lights of a car accident right down the street from her home. Not realizing her son Chandler was fighting for his life after being transported from the scene by helicopter, still breathing to U of L Hospital. They just took it to the private room. So I knew then it was really bad. And so that's and that's when they told me that he didn't make it. So, but we was on talking terms and we was good and so that, that helps. <laughs> and we went and fought and you know how <laughs> moms and kids do, but he was a good kid, he really was. Her friendships with Chandler's friends, including the driver of the car that night and other passenger, helping her through the tough times. She looked forward to their graduation from Shelby County High School, where she thought her son would be honored as well. Something just kept telling me to call and ask, you know, what they was going to do or, or I, I didn't know if they was, you know, and then when I called and she told me that nothing was going to be done because he didn't have enough credits that just broke me all over again. I don't, I don't, I didn't understand and of course he's not going to have credits. He wasn't there to finish school. I mean, if he was there, he would have had his credits to graduate. When his friends found out the school didn't plan on honoring Chandler in any way, they started an online petition, racking up 800 signatures in less than 24 hours. I think everybody has a right to graduate. It's a big honor. And for them to not even acknowledge that he existed for his friends that go there and, and family, it's just, I just don't think it's right. I don't, I don't, they need to change that. <laughs> I called the media contact for the Shelby County School District, wanting to hear their side of the story. Well, Haley, is there a way I could get back with you? Our um, superintendent and deputy are out right now, and I'd like to check with them. I told her my deadline for this story five hours from when I was calling, but I never heard back. On your side in Shelby County, I'm Haley Minogue, WHAS 11 News.